What's up guys and gals, Pi here. In this video, I have two awesome gel techniques to show you for corrective as well as stylistic lighting effects. Let's talk about our first technique, which is gelling for corrective purposes. What does that mean? Well, your flashes by default, the light temperature coming out of these, or the color temperature of the light is 5,500 Kelvin. When you walk, say, indoors to a reception or ballroom, whatever it might be, the lights in that scene generally are gonna be orange or tungsten, meaning their light temperature is around 3,600 Kelvin. Now what happens is when you flash and light your subject in that scene with a very blue light temperature, your subjects are far cooler than the background. The background is very orange, your subjects are very blue, and when you warm it up in camera or in post, you end up with very muddy looking backgrounds. Your colors in the background are brown, they're oversaturated, they look terrible. So what we do is we gel for corrective purposes. We take the CTO gel. So what is our CTO? It is our color temperature orange gel. You place this directly over the head of the flash or basically just inside of one of the gel holders and that changes the color temperature of this light to orange. So basically, we drop our in-camera white balance to 3600 Kelvin. That is gonna approximate or be very close to the tungsten color temperature of the natural lights in that scene and we end up getting corrective lighting. So let's talk about our first scene. We're doing a little mini session with our couple inside of the ballroom before they open it up. Now, for this, we grab the OCF beauty dish. We're using the two foot white. We place it onto our B2 and inside of it, we place the orange CTO into one of the gel holders. And so we have a beautiful beauty dish quality light that is color temperature orange. Now remember when lighting, set your camera exposure first to how you want the ambient light to look in that scene and then simply adjust the flash power accordingly. So for this scene, we're shooting around 1 200th of a second at f1.4 and ISO 800, 3600 Kelvin in camera for our white balance. We get a beautiful look through that Sigma Art glass and then we fire off with our flash roughly around 20 to 30% power. So this is maybe 60 to 70 watt seconds worth of juice and coming through that pro photo beauty dish, we get this beautiful looking image right here. Keep in mind that these images are directly from camera. We have done no Photoshop. Let's talk about our second technique. And for this, we're gonna be using a CTO gel, this time for stylistic lighting effect. We're also gonna show you a bounce technique from our Lighting 101 and 201 courses on how to create two lights out of one single flash. So remember we first set that in-camera exposure to how we want our ambient light to look. And we're gonna start by dropping the white balance down to 3600 Kelvin. We're gonna go in-camera and set our shutter speed to 1 50th of a second, f1.4 and ISO 1600. This gets us a nice ambient light look. From there, we grab the B2, we have it up on our stick, and this is where the grid is gonna come into play because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that gel, that orange gel, and place it inside of a grid. Now this grid is going to control our light spill. The tighter the pattern of a grid, the tighter the pattern's gonna be on the wall. So the more kind of a beam it's gonna be that comes out of it. So this is what's gonna control our light spill because if we don't use this, that light is gonna spill all over the scene. It's gonna flare into the camera. It's gonna hit the models everywhere. So we put the grid on. We then have the modeling light on the B2 turned on so we can get an idea of where that light is going. From there, we use the modeling light just to glance the light off the side of our model's hair, okay? And it's basically firing into a reflector that we're holding on the other side. So I have one assistant holding the reflector, one assistant on the light, and the assistant on the light is just glancing the light off of the hair and into the reflector, which is pushing the light back into their face. So doing so, we get a two light look and effect with one single stroke. And this is the final result. I hope you all enjoyed the video. For more information on all the gear used, be sure to check out the article itself by clicking the link below, which is also available in the description for the video. 
My name is Pi, and I'll see you all in the next video.